Let's take a look at the trailer for the Minecraft movie. Excuse me, a Minecraft movie. Now, uh, I, I played Minecraft like way back in the day. It's been quite some time. I remember like enjoying it. You know, I, I, I didn't obsessively play it like some people, you know, do doing, you know, building all sorts of huge, you know, structures and things. And I know there's like, you have some objectives in the game, go to different like, you know, places and things. I mean, it's, it's a great game to, to play with your friends, establish your own server, do whatever you want. And it. it's wonderful. It's, you know, it's led to uh, a lot of uh, creativity. It's created a lot of, um, you know, uh, channels, uh, content creators have based their, uh, I mean, their creations all around this game. Um, and, you know, it's offered a lot of people uh, happiness and fun, which is great. Uh, I know that there's been development for a movie for quite some time, and I think it, it they, they struggled uh, for a while. You had different directors, different writers uh, attached at various points, and, you know, we finally have it with, with this movie. Um I heard like behind the scenes there apparently were were some issues, and uh, I I know that the film stars Jack Black apparently Jason Momoa was in it too I forgot Jason Momoa even starred in it and I I have not even seen the trailer yet I don't even know but early reactions from what I've seen and comments on social media have have not been very kind to this trailer a lot of people are going like what the hell was that so. Let's go ahead and check out the trailer. I'll come back with my thoughts. You come back with your thoughts, and we'll, we'll have a nice little conversation. Here we go. A Minecraft movie teaser. Five minutes later. Man, the humor is not landing in this trailer, there, how many times are going to just cut to the goats just chewing and doing all that kind of crazy? It's like that—that's not even—that's not even crazy. That's just kind of lame. Um, I, I okay for whatever reason, I I was under. Let me go back to Jason Momoa here. <laughs> all right, first of all, I guess I was under the impression that this was going to be an animated movie, and that they were going to kind of emulate. I, I assume they are kind of emulating the style. Of, of of the Minecraft world, it, you know, it's 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 you know that 3D animation, obviously, but I didn't expect they'd be like live action, like people. Now that that's a little uh, off putting, honestly. Um, I don't know what the hell is going on with Jason Moe's hair. <laughs> that's a that's a weird choice. That's a very weird choice uh, right now. Uh, I mean, Jack Black, I thought he was just going to voice Steve. That's what I figured that he was going to do. I was like, oh, okay, you could probably pull that off. And I listen, I know we're coming off we're fresh off of Borderlands. And, it, again, what was given to Jack Black as Claptrap was not good. But I still like Jack Black as an actor. He is talented. It's just that the movie was terrible. Horribly directed, horribly written, just you know, flawed from the get-go, really. Um, But, yeah, with this, uh, it's just weird that it's, that it, it's kind of like a hybrid – you know, live action, you know, animated movie. So they're kind of going for that Who Framed Roger Rabbit vibe, I guess, but it's not really working for me uh, right now. Um, and the one thing is, it's like all the attempts at humor, at least so far, pretty pretty lame. I mean, how many times are we gonna just going to cut to like a pig or a goat or whatever, just chewing grass and then like stopping and then continuing to do that? They were like really leaning into that. People are going to love this. They're going to love the, the goat or the, the llama or whatever the hell just, just doing that. I'm like, eh, that's not really working. Not not a good, not a good first impression. Um, I don't know. I, I, I I'll, I'll wait for a longer trailer. Um, you know, so they can show a little bit more. But this was not them putting their best foot forward. In, in my honest opinion, this is more like them tripping over themselves <laughs> a little bit and and kind of face planning. But maybe they could pick themselves up. Maybe they could put some of their broken teeth back in their mouths. You know. Just even some of the lines, it's like they all look at a like again, I go back to the goat of it all. I'm sorry. That goat, that sheep, that llama, they see it chewing, and then it looks at them, and then you got the the one uh, character gone. The hell? It's just like ugh, just so lazy. Um, yeah, so not impressed by the Minecraft movie trailer. Excuse me, a Minecraft movie trailer. But what about you guys? What's your um impressions of of this teaser? I wasn't very impressed. I thought that was kind of lame. Let's see. Um, that wig, that wig looks pretty rough. The ghost, that's, that sure was a llama. My mistake. I corrected myself. I corrected myself. What humor? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> You're right about that, Deadpool. Yeah, no, oh, I'm sure the creepers and the zombies will be in it. I guess they got the pigmen, you know, first. Let's see. People are saying here, uh, 
there. The wig looks pretty bad, Kingpin. I agree. Should we also bring up who's directing because it's weird? It's the director of Napoleon Diamond. Oh, really? What? Uh, what's that guy's name? Let me look up. I'm gonna look up uh, this film here. Let me see. Um, a Minecraft. Because I remember back in the day, Rob McElhaney of of like one of the co-creators of Always Sunny in Philadelphia. He was attached to the Minecraft movie for for years, but then apparently it went nowhere. And apparently he, it he was pretty pissed off about it. That was a pretty good poster. Jared Hess. Uh, Jared Hess. Let's, so what's his filmography? He did Napoleon Dynamite, which I do like Napoleon Dynamite. Nacho Libre, which it has its fans. General Bro oh, General Broncos is the fucking worst. Jesus. Oh, my God. Don Verdeen. Never heard of that. Oh, Master... Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, gee. Oh, this movie's... Uh, Chad, I'm going to tell you right now, this movie's fucked. <laughs> Gentleman Broncos is already like a pretty that, that that not a good movie, terrible movie. Masterminds is wretched. I remember uh, re watching this movie and reviewing this movie way back when, nearly ten years ago, when I was still with OneOfUs.net, and that movie was awful, awful. Of Zach Galifianakis, oh god, yeah. Owen Wilson, Kristen Wiig, yeah. That movie was Jason. Oh jeez horrible movie and then he did something called Thelma the Unicorn which I've it looks like a a 3D animated movie and then it's a Minecraft movie wow they okay they went you know what maybe they should have went with Rob McElhaney <laughs> I think that would have been a better choice that's not good that's not good no wonder the humor isn't working holy shit my god like literally his best movie was was 20 years ago Oh, man. Let's see what you guys are saying here. Talk about Jared, uh, Jared Hess, who honestly hasn't a good movie since Nacho Libre, which a lot of people do like. They should have pulled a page master and made them all animated when they went to the That's what I... That, yeah, just J Jumanji. A lot of this feels like... Uh, I just realized kind of like Jumanji, in a way. This feels like the more recent Jumanji movies. Just realized that. Funny enough, who Jack Black is... Jack Black's also in those movies. Um, they should pull a... But I agree with you. I, I, it should be, I think it should be animated. Why, why are you doing the hybrid? That's weird. That's really weird. Uh, let's see. Thought that too. Produce graphics. Good to see you. Hey, Chris, everybody. Oh, Lord. My, yeah, it's not looking good. I didn't, I did not care for it at all. Just look, just look lame. Look really lame. Uh, looks like the newer jungle, uh, uh, uh yeah, yeah, Jumanji movies. Uh, Bat Boy says, and Mark Mother's Bog is doing the score. Damn, he scored some great cartoons like Rugrats and English. Oh, that was pretty good. Well, his daughter from PC. Yeah, I recognized her. Danielle Brooks, but she's great. You know, she's uh, she's wonderful in, in the Peacemaker series, and I, I hope she's coming back for the second season, too. I like her. But, yeah, she was confused. That, like, the hell? Yeah, I feel sorry for her. Just a teaser. We will see, but I'm too old for this shit. Why does someone look like he's in an MCL movie? Yeah, he does. Man, that's the other thing that this is reminding me of. Pixels. Great comparison, Austin. It definitely it certainly seems to have the, the same uh, comedic sensibilities as, as, as Pixels. Pretty lame. Yeah, Jumanji movies. No, I knew you were saying, Biggie Smith. You're good. Uh, he was on me for an Oscar last year? Oh, shit. Well, there you go. Jason Momoa was dressed like someone's 10-year-old. Says, Yeah, he, very weird look for me. This looks all over the goddamn place. Like, what's going on here with the, the pink and everything and the hair? Yeah, I don't, I don't get what this, is, what this is all about. This is, this, this is honestly very bizarre. Which one was Masterminds? It was the one where it's, like, it's based on a true story. I think it's, like, set in the 90s, and it follows, um... Zach Galifianakis and Kristen Wiig, and they end up, like, stealing a bunch of money uh, while working for, like, Owen Wilson. And, and like, Zach Galifianakis goes on the lam, but really Owen Wilson, whoever his uh, significant other is, they pretty much just take the money for themselves and start, like, spending it. And Zach Galifianakis, like, wants to get the money back, um, but they won't give it to him. And so he has to, like, expose them along the way for their for, for participating in the in the robbery itself. And it's just it's just lame joke after lame joke after lame joke. There's like a whole extended sequence where Zach Galifianakis like shits himself in a pool and it looks I mean that in itself is like that is not appealing and or, or or funny. And you just see like the shit just spread, the diarrhea just spread across the pool and everyone starts panicking. It's just it's just the worst. It's the worst. Oh man. Uh, let's see. That one! That's the one where Galvin has to look weird because of all the weight he lost. I, I guess so. I just remember him... I just remember him being very annoying. I mean, to see that film in the Unicorn movie, I, I, I didn't even know about it. I didn't even know it existed. 
I thought I think it was that Patrick Stewart movie. No, something else. Jarvi, good to have you, by the way. I says I said I knew we weren't going to have the same opinion. I love the look of the visuals, like the world and the creatures. I would have loved if they went full animated. Well, uh, agreed, and not like ninety five percent of it. Like honestly, live action actors don't really fit the world for me. Yeah, exactly, it, it looks weird. It feels like they're trying to do a Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And listen, that's very hard to do. It's very, very difficult to do. Like, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and funny enough, a movie that I was not excited for, and, and I was, you know, and I was wrong about, uh, the uh, Rescue Rangers. Um, that, that was the only other movie I could think of that, that did it very well. Um, like, all the Space Jam movies I thought was awful. And there's probably some other examples I'm not even thinking of, but, but there's just been a lot of, like, bad movies that have done that hybrid, and it just hasn't worked. It really is, it, it comes down to just the poor directing and poor storytelling and, and poor writing. Um, let's see here. And I will say I'm uh, becoming known of, uh, and I will say I'm becoming known of the Minecraft movie Llama fan. Llama is the best character. I've been posting nothing but photos of Llama. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I'm, I'm glad you like I'm glad you like the Llama. It didn't work. Llama didn't work for me, but, you know, to each their own. Um, this looks like it's for the very young. Yeah, it definitely looks like for little kids. Yeah, she's writing the new color purple, which I did not see that movie. She's like, oh, we just got the Sonic 3 trailer, but now we got the... Yeah, it's, it's, it's nuts. Like, I'm more excited for Sonic 3 than ever in terms of video game adaptations. Um, okay, so Norman X says, I was thinking of a different shitty Galvin X movie he did around the same time with John Hammond. Oh, that one sucks, too. That one's really bad as well. That's another bad movie. I hated that film, too. Zach Galvin X has not made many good movies. <laughs> Outside of, like, the first Hangover, everything else is... Uh... I'm not a fan of him. It was like an awkward middle ground. They couldn't commit uh, between making this realistic. Yeah, and that, that concerns me. Is that like, oh, let's try to make something for everyone. It's like, mm -hmm. But inevitably, they might make something that's for no one. Yeah. I, I, well, Barbie may... Eh. Barbie's not exactly like a cartoon, though. Like, even Barbie World, like, it, the, those are like sets. The, you know, they, they built them. It just feels like, you know, a huge Barbie playset come to life. But fair enough. Wednesday's friend looks like she's playing her your favorite trope, the bratty teen. Oh, my favorite. I love that. I love that. Jill Murray, I don't know if you viewed this yesterday. A little hesitant to share it because of who it's about, but the Oscar but this movie screams Oscar Bay. Which one is this? Um uh, The Apprentice. Oh, is this the 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 Donald Trump trailer? Oh, I think this is uh this is like a weird. I think this is like some guy's reaction, though. This is like some guy's reaction to the trailer. But, uh, yeah, yeah, they're doing, like, a Donald Trump biopic or something, as far as I know. Uh, but, yeah, that, 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 that link connects to that. That's someone's reaction. So how do we adapt Minecraft? Fuck it, just have real people go to Minecraft World of Red. Yeah, it, it, that, it, it, it's also that thing. Um, I guess it, it's, it's somewhat better than, like, Minecraft characters than going to the real world so they can, like, cut down the cost. So there, there is that. Cool, little cool world in there, definitely. Uh, Dark Fantasy Minecraft would have been cool as Bugs. I just would have just made it like, you know, like an animated film. I, I, you know, that's just me. But then it emulates the aesthetics of, of Minecraft, like fully animated. Whether 3D, 2D, or 2.5D, I think that would have been cool. Um, uh, Tommy says, it does look like it'll probably appeal to the kids who play the game for several hours a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's who they're, you know, they're going for, I suppose. Hmm... Let's see. Here's that guy made a good Lego joke. Ah, that's true. I, he, he was he was uh, he was a good Lego joker. He was, he was fun. Um, let's see. Got the show Baskets to talk about last week. Louis Anderson was his mother won an Emmy. Oh, there you go. Uh, there is no trailer for the show. Oh, there isn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, whatever that was, it was like some person's reaction to it. So, but um, but yeah, Sebastian Stan is Trump. Yeah, which is very odd cast. I don't I don't I don't really see it personally. But what are you gonna do? Uh, I would send you the trailer for the CGI Barney series coming out since he's voiced by the vendor guy from Trap. Oh, that guy? <laughs> but you seem too busy for that bullshit today. <laughs> We're going to react to another trailer in just a bit. Uh, that was, I already forgot what it was. But I do have it saved. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, not, not impressed by this trailer. I can see why everyone's having such a negative reaction to it, uh, uh, right now. It looks, um, it just looks bad. It just, it just looks lazy. Um, like none of the humor, none of the attempts at humor, like work for me w whatsoever. I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pass on that one. Gonna pass. Well, no, I'm not gonna pass on that one. I, I do have to see it. <laughs> I can't. Sadly, I can't even pass on this one, chat. I'm gonna go have, I'm gonna have to go to the theater and watch a Minecraft movie. And I'll let you know what I thought of a Minecraft movie. When's this coming out? What's the release date? 
I assume it's this year. Or is it next year? Oh, it's next year. Only in theaters April 4th, so. Okay. Next year, chat. Again, they did not put their best foot forward of this one. They, they literally fell on their face, and they're trying to put their teeth back in right now. Not good. Not good. And now it's just going to be months. Oh, that's the other thing, too. It's just going to be just months of people, like, mo- I mean, practically a year, people just mocking this thing. Although some people did like the trail. They did dig it. I just, I, I really didn't like it at all.